It's full steam ahead for members of the Niagara Railway Museum as they're busy setting up displays and doing final touch-ups so they can welcome visitors to their upcoming public open house. Uh, the Niagara Railway Museum was set up in 1997 to preserve and promote the railway heritage that was uh, quickly disappearing from the Niagara area landscape. And in that time, we've uh, managed to assemble a collection of equipment and artifacts directly related to the Niagara region. We have approximately 18 to 20 uh, members in the group, and at any given time, you can find anywhere from two to eight or nine people out here working uh, when we do have our work days. Uh, it's, it's started out with family and some close friends, and it's grown to people I've known throughout the years, people I've known from uh, railway shows, people who live in the area who just have an interest in trains. So it really covers a vast area. Tell me about the equipment and memorabilia you have on display here. Uh, the equipment started out with uh, trying to acquire the last steam locomotive from the Queenston Chippewa Power Project, which was the power canals used for Adam Beck Generating Station Number 1. Uh, in that time, we also added an electric locomotive, which worked with the steam locomotive and the same project, and the, a small diesel uh, locomotive that worked in the hydro project in 1953. So our three main locomotives in the collection are all directly related to the hydro projects in Niagara Falls. Uh, since that time, we've added uh, some other little pieces of equipment, uh, uh, fireless steam locomotive that came from Atlas Steel in Welland and is the last one and one of only two in Canada. Uh, our boxcars are now used for display and uh, workshop purposes and we have a locomotive, diesel locomotive cab which was closely used in uh, Hamilton on the steel trains and her sister locomotives were maintained in this facility as well. We completely redid all our lighting in the office which has really brightened it up. Donations that came in late last year were uh, items from the former Niagara Central Hobbies in St. Catharines, the hobby shop on St. Paul Street. It's shaping up to be a really good year for us just by uh, expansion wise and, and well, our newest piece of equipment is the uh, a locomotive that was donated by a local industry uh, here in Niagara and uh, it's been a, a great asset to us since we've gotten it. The Niagara Railway Museum is located at 21 Warren Street in Fort Erie and they invite everyone to attend their last big open house of the year, September 10th and 11th. The hours are 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Both days, rain or shine. The museum is a uh, registered charitable organization uh, registered with Canada Revenue, and so we do work strictly on donations out here. We do not have any paid staff. Everything we do, we rely on the donations of people that come in the door and our model railway shows. So we do ask for a uh, monetary donation to help us keep things going and to improve the facility uh, as, as we move along. September 10th and 11th is kind of like the end of our big displays, but we will be uh, still open Saturdays to the end of the month. And again, it is always rain or shine. Then we go into our model railway show in St. Catharines at the end of October, which is our, our final big fundraiser for the year. For more details on the open house or how to become a member, visit nfrm.ca. Reporting for The Source, I'm Mark Wickerbredo.